moved up above us for success today for SpaceX. For the first time, a recycled rocket and capsule delivered NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. CBS's Mark Strassman has more. 260 miles above Earth, four passengers on the SpaceX space taxi near their destination, the International Space Station. 10 meters. This morning's docking only looked slow motion. In low Earth orbit, the speed of both the capsule and the station would cover more than 80 football fields a second. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop, soft capture confirmed. The ISS now has 11 astronauts on board, more than at any time since the space shuttle era. It's taken a tremendous amount of work um, from a lot of different teams to get us here. It's just an, a, a tremendous achievement on behalf of our, our partner SpaceX. We're so excited to be here. We're ready to get to work. SpaceX had a significant milestone here. It flew this crew using a first stage booster and a space capsule that had flown on earlier flights. That drives down costs and potentially increases the number of launches because you don't have to build the space hardware from scratch every time. That approach, once considered revolutionary, has rapidly become routine. I'd say it's only recently, though, that I, I think that I, I, I feel that uh, full and rapid reusability can be accomplished. Um, I wasn't sure for a long time, but I'm sure now. Another first. Two Crew Dragon capsules docked to the space station at the same time. The crowded ISS only has seven beds for these 11 astronauts. Some people may have to sleep in their space taxis. So there'll be a little bit of camping going on. So there has to be a little bit of flexibility on everybody's part to make it work. Exactly. One thing no one will complain about, the views. Mark Strassman, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center.